Welcome to Yes Botany. We are going to see morphology of the angiosperm in that today's topic of discussion is the morphology of the vegetative organs. So, first of all, we, have, we should know what is the vegetative organs. Vegetative organs are the organs of the plants that do not take part in the sexual reproduction directly. Such organs are the vegetative organs. And the examples of the vegetative organs are the root, stem, and leaves. Today we are going to see about the root. So let us see morphology, morphology of the vegetative organs. And what is the morphology? Morphology is the study of the forms and the structures of the organisms and their specific features. And today we will see what is the root. Root is the descending axis of the plant body. So this is the axis of the plant and the descending axis means that grows below the soil this is the descending axis of the plant and the stem it is the ascending axis of the plant body then what are the characteristics of the roots generally roots are positively geotropic and hydrotropic means they grow towards the gravity so they are called as the positively geotropic and they grow towards the water so they are called as the positively hydrotropic roots are negatively phototropic and aerotropic negatively phototropic means they grow away from the light and away from the air so they are described as the negatively phototropic and negatively aerotropic developed from the radical the roots normally develops from the radical of the embryo present in the seed they are as we know when the seed germinates the first part of the embryo that comes out of the seed that is the radical and it is the first organ which forms the root they are the genetically non green and cylindrical non green means generally the roots are non green means there is absence of the chlorophyll so they are non green and they are cylindrical in shape they do not have nodes and internodes the roots generally don't show the nodes and internodes as the this is the characteristics of the stem means stem we uh, we we see the nodes and internodes on the stem and they produce similar organs such as the secondary and the tertiary roots means the roots will produce the similar organs like itself like that like it will only produce the secondary or the tertiary roots but in case of the stem it is it is producing different organs like the leaves or the uh, lateral branches and so on the functions of the roots commonly the roots perform the these functions that is the anchoring of the plant to the soil absorption of the water and nutrients from the soil and conduction of these absorbed water and nutrients to the stem so these are the important main primary functions of the roots but sometimes roots can form from some additional functions these are the as follows and for performing these additional functions it can undergo some modifications and these types of the modification we will see in the upcoming videos so what are the additional functions performed by the roots firstly that is the storage of the food as the root it swells and it carry out the function of the storage of the food materials this is seen in the carrot radish and beetroot sometimes roots also take part in the vegetative reproduction and competition with the other plants and in these plants the roots performs the function of the vegetative reproduction means the new plant will grow from the parts of the roots so it is helping in the vegetative reproduction and next function performed by the root additionally is the photosynthesis as just we have seen that the roots are non green means they don't show the presence of the chlorophyll and they will not show the photosynthesis but but sometimes there are some uh, plants like the tinospora and the trappa where the plants are showing uh, roots with green color and such roots are called as the assimilatory roots and so in tinospora and the trappa the roots perform the additional function that is the 
photosynthesis. In some plants like the climbers, uh, helps roots helps in the climbing, and like the money plant, vanilla and piper beetle. Here, the uh, main stem of the plant is weak, so it needs supports to grow, and the roots helps these plants to climb. So the roots are performing the additional function of the climbing, and sometimes in few plants like in the rhizophora and the avicennia the plants which grow in the salty salty and the marshy places where the main soil is rich in the acidic conditions or we can say that high concentration of the salt is there so the roots are unable to take the gases um, take the essential gases for the normal growth and to overcome these conditions these grow, you know, roots grow positively phototropic or we can say that negatively geotropic we have just seen that the normal root are positively geotropic and negatively phototropic but in these plants the plant uh, root shows the different character that is they grow away from the gravity towards the air and they show helps in the gaseous exchange and such roots are the called as the nematophores and this condition is seen in the rhizophora and the avicennia. So, we have seen what are the roots and their characters and the fun main functions of the root in addition to the additional functions like the storage of the food, vegetative reproduction, photosynthesis, climbing and gaseous exchange. So, that's it for the today's video. In the upcoming video, we will discuss the in detail about the different regions of a typical route. Thank you.